pre-COVID, our event would be like 24 hours. Um, way back in the day, it was like 36 and 48, I think, hours. Um, just like all day fundraising, basically um, incentives, entertainment, things like that. Just ways to make money um, for our kiddos. Uh, so today we had a bunch of speakers. We had our morale captains, which are like the hype people of the event, come up and teach a dance. Um, we had entertainment from Super Games, from Glass City, um, just the sorts. We had President Rogers here, Van Wright, all these people, just kind of a big celebration, a big birthday party, essentially, of what we did all year. And then a big culmination of that. And today is like one of our biggest fundraising days, clearly. So, so it was 57,400 something, I think. I don't know. I saw it a lot going on. Um, last year we were at 46,000, so obviously every year we want to grow bigger and bigger. There are certain percentages that we want to meet. Um, just so our program is increasing and doing everything that we can, every single dollar of that is going to go to Nationwide and Toledo um, to help the families that we saw today and so many other families um, and their kids. Connor is 12 years old and uh, he's been involved with Dance Marathon here in Bowling Green for seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Seven years. Um, he was born with Apert syndrome, which is where his feet and hands were webbed in the womb. Um, also, you can go a little more on this. Yeah, one. his his uh, bones were fused in the womb, so he's had uh, 38 surgeries to separate his fingers, his toes. Uh, we did a mid-face surgery here recently where we had to move the face forward. Uh, it's, it's a hard road. It's like winning the genetic lottery, to be honest with you, with, with this syndrome. This organization means the world to us, honestly. Um, we also had another child that was involved for 20 years. Um, our daughter Marissa passed away back in August, who was born with a lot of uh, health issues over the years. Um, but they have been a huge support to our children, to our family. Um, they've just the outreach from the kids that are involved in this group has just been phenomenal over the years. It definitely hits home, especially the end here. Like I said, our daughter always loved that last part where she got to go around and cut off wristbands. So her not being here with us here was, was pretty emotional. So. Woo!